Hello, now we are going to look at congruent triangles. And first of all, congruent just means equal. It means that two triangles are the same. The only thing that can be different about them is that they can be rotated around. So we have two triangles here, A, B and C and uh, E, F and D. And the only difference between the two of them is that at uh, e, F, D has been rotated around so that this corner gets rotated to point more up in the air. But other than that, the lengths of all the sides are exactly the same. The angles are all exactly the same. They are exactly the same triangle, just moved around a little bit. So that's all congruent means, that they are equal in the sense that we would normally mean equal. They're the same. The symbol for congruence looks quite like an equal sign. It just has an extra line in it. So if we were going to say that two triangles were equal to each other or the same as each other, we would say they ha were uh, congruent and we would use three lines for our effectively our equal sign. Another word that we need to uh, deal with along with congruent today is corresponding. And we've already seen corresponding when it comes to angles. So if I look down at the bottom of my screen here, my corresponding angles would be the ones that were in the same general position. So this angle up in this corner here and this one down here are in the same relative position. They're in the corresponding position for our two parallel lines. We've already dealt with that kind of idea. And it means basically the same thing here. So in our congruent triangles, our two equal or the same triangles, what are the corresponding sides or what are the corresponding angles? And we can put the same symbol in to indicate that we're dealing with corresponding things. So AB here corresponds to DE, or as the example I give you here, the side BC, which has three dashes on it, corresponds to is the same side in the other triangle uh, as EF and it has its three dashes on it. So you can see the different symbols that we can use for saying that things are the same. We have a single dash between on the line AB and uh, DE. We have two dots in the angle ABC and we have two dots in the angle DEF. So you can see that we have our different ways of saying that things are the same, that they correspond to each other. They're in the same position in the two triangles. Now, how would we show that two triangles are the same, that they are congruent? Well, the way that we do that is effectively the same way as you would draw triangles. So if you have enough information to draw the two triangles, or the same information for drawing the two triangles, then you'd be able to show that they were congruent. And I'll show you what I mean. One of the ways of showing the triangles are congruent is called ASA, angle side angle. And what it means is if we have these two triangles here, I've deliberately left these to look like constructions. If you know you have a side length X and you know you go up from X at a particular angle B and from the other end of X you go up at an angle A, there's only one triangle that could possibly be formed with that information. I don't need to know the length of this blue line and the length of this green line because I know that they must cross at a single point. If they're going up from the line of length X at this angle on one end and angle A at the other end, this point here will always be the same. And it's the same here as well. So if I know a side of the triangle and I know that I'm going up from both ends of that uh, side at known angles, then I can show that the triangles must be congruent because I have enough information to draw the triangle and therefore say I'm talking about a particular triangle and no other one. So to use angle side angle, you would find or you would show that you had a side that you knew and you'd show that at the angles coming off of that side were the same. And that would allow you to say definitively that this triangle was congruent to this triangle. Another way of drawing a triangle would be to have two sides, knowing the length of two sides, and then knowing the angle in between them. Because then the third remaining side, drawn in green here, 
must be the same length in both triangles. So if we knew a side length, a side length, and the angle in between, that would allow us to draw a triangle, and it would also, if we were able to get the equivalent sides or the uh, corresponding sides uh, in our triangle, and we showed that they were the same, then we would know that our triangles were congruent based on side, angle, side. The other way that we could know it is simply to know all the sides of the triangle. There's only one triangle that has a length A, B and C for a given A, B and C. So if they're in the same order, A is across from C uh, and B is sitting on the short end, that means that these two triangles have to be identical to each other. They have to be congruent. A slightly unusual one, but one that we can come across quite regularly, is called RHS, right angle. So this is only true for right angle triangles, hypotenuse and side. And what it says is, if you know you have a right angle triangle and you can show that the side across from the right angle triangle is the same in both, all you need to do then is show that one of the other uh, sides is the same or the other corresponding sides is the same. So those are our different ways of showing the triangles are the same, that they are congruent. So let's put these tests for how to draw triangles, how to show that they would be congruent to use. So I have the triangle GHI and JLK. Are they congruent? So I have my equal sign with three lines instead of two. That means congruent. Uh, are they congruent? Well, I have the side 20 meters is uh, GH and I have the side KL is 20 meters. So they must be the same length. I could put a single dash there and a single dash there. And I know that at GI is the same as JK. So I could put two dashes there to show that they were the same. And I can see it's given to me in the diagram that the angle HGI is the same as the angle. I see a single dot there as well, LKJ. So I would be able to say from side, angle, side are the same. So side, angle, side are the same in both. So I would be able to say that they are congruent because of side, angle, side. I'm going to write out that information, the argument that we would use here. So we have to state exactly why we know each thing when we're doing this. These are kind of proof type questions. So we have to be very exact in how we say uh, that something is congruent. So GH, the length of GH is equal to uh, the length of KL because we're told they're both 20 meters. Same uh, for the other two sides that are uh, corresponding to each other. And then we're given, so we state given, that uh, the angles are the same because we can see the same symbol in them given to us in the question. Therefore, our triangles are congruent by side, angle, side, because we have a side, the angle, and then the other side, and we have the side, the angle, and the other side. Now, when we have this actually printed on paper, something can be helped something that can be helpful because figuring out if the sides properly correspond to each other can be difficult. Doing this rotation in our heads can be difficult. So one of the things you can do if this is on paper is physically rotate your page around to see that they are sitting in the same corresponding positions when you rotate them. Because remember, the only thing that can change about corresponding sides, or sorry, corresponding triangles, is that they are rotated relative to each other. It's the only thing that can be changed. So we can also rotate them. And I'm going to do that now. So if we take our second triangle and rotate it, you won't be able to rotate them individually, but uh, you will be able to rotate your page. When we rotate it, we can see that the 25 length side is in the same position as the 25 length side, the angle that we know is in the same position, and the 20 length side is in the same position. So by rotating our page physically around, we can double check that our mental rotation has been correct, that the sides are indeed corresponding and the correct angles are corresponding. Now, continuing, we have our picture here and then we're asked, is the angle ABX uh, congruent 
uh, with the triangle, I should say, uh, X, Y, Z. So I can see my parallel lines here. I have my arrow symbols here that tell me either if my two orange lines or red lines are uh, parallel to each other. And then I can see my green and my blue line crossing them. So how could I show uh, are these triangles uh, corresponding to each other, congruent with each other? Well, I can see I have two sides that are equal. I'm given in the question that BX and XY are the same length because I have my single dashes in there. So I'm going to write that information down. Now, is there anything else that I can see? So always write down the information that you can see in these questions. That will give you an anchor for what else you need to know. So I have my sides here. Is there any other piece of information that I would be able to get? Well, I can see that this angle here is vertically opposite to this angle here. They must be the same. So I can draw that in put a single dot there to say that they are the same. So that's angle AXB and YXZ. Now that I've seen that, if I was able to show that this angle here that this angle here was the same as this angle here, then I would have angle, side, angle the same in both of my diagrams inside of both of my triangles, I should say, and therefore they would be congruent. So how would I be able to show that A, B, X is the same as X, Y, Z? This angle down here being the same as this angle down here. Well, these are parallel lines, so that means that they are alternating on the crossing of parallel lines, so they must be equal by alternating. Again, always write down why what you are saying is true every single time. This is vertically opposite. This is alternating. This was given to me in the question. Every time we state why something is true, and then we'll be able to uh, fill out our congruence fairly straightforwardly if we remember all of the tools available to us. And fill in your diagram as well in pencil so that you can keep track of what it is you know. Now, Final question, we have show that AD, so the line through AD, the blue line there, bisects uh, BAC. Well, what would it mean for it to bisect uh, BAC? Well, that means that this angle in here would have to be equal to this angle here. Well, that would be true if the triangle uh, A. B, D was congruent with A, C, D. So that's fundamentally what our question is actually asking us. It occurred to me after I wrote this in that I had marked these as being uh, equal, uh, labeled my diagram as though they were equal when in point of fact that's what I want to find. So I have cleaned that up and I am put a little reminder to myself pointing to the right place and say, are these angles going to be equal instead of marking them as equal beforehand. So how am I going to show that these two triangles are congruent? Well, what information have I got? I've got a lot of information about the sides. So could I show that they're congruent using the sides? Well, I'm told that AB is the same as AC because they have single lines. BD is the same as CD because they're saying uh, double dashed lines. And then the middle line in uh, AD is shared between the two, so it must be the same. So by side, 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 they must be congruent. So that's it written out. This was given to us, this was given to us, and this is a shared side, so necessarily it must be the same. So all sides are the same, so they're congruent. That means that these two angles must be the same because they're in the corresponding positions in the triangle. Therefore, our angle is bisected by AD. And that is what we need for now.